the Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with women's basketball and two big wins for the Bulldogs this past week. And with us, head coach Colleen Lamarot Tate. And uh, coach, uh, first of all, congratulations. Two, uh, two big wins, as we yes. mentioned, for the Bulldogs. Thank you. Thank you. Bulldogs uh, taking on Northwood Lake Superior State this past week. And uh, just talk about what those two victories meant uh, for your team as you, as you eye the postseason. Well, um, it pretty much tells us we're rebounding well as far as um, coming back from a horrible loss against Tech. And uh, we kind of had a soul search for a while, and then we went into overtime at Northern. Um, we figured out the problem, and then um, so this kind of capped it off. We were really looking forward to playing Northwood again. They beat us, what, by 25 the first time, and then for us to come back, you know, beat them by 12, was it? Anyway, um, just huge, huge uh, upswing to that. And then uh, beating Lake Superior, you know, pretty good too. Uh, and that was a close game through it all. So we're peaking at the right time. Um, I think that we're going to pull out wins with the fact that our post players are coming through for us. You mentioned uh, that loss to Northwood earlier in the year uh, by 25 in Midland. And as we go to the highlights of Thursday's game, uh, what was the focus and what adjustments, changes did you make from that first meeting? Well, we really wanted to shoot or shut down their number 30. She's a really good shooter. Um, she's got a quick release. And then our post players had to get the rebounds and they had to finish. Um, and they do a really good job on crashing the board, so we have been really practicing on uh, our defensive end. But you know, it just comes down to the tenacity they have to start with. You know, this team sometimes gets in a lull, so to speak, and we've just been working on, there's, there is no, I have no patience for any down. So we've just been putting a complete game together. Um, the last three games now, we've done that, you know, inside game, outside game, but then starting. Our defense has changed now, we don't switch at all. So we just stay with our players, we get through screens, and our post players are with the post players now. So we don't have any mismatches on the boards. This one, a pretty even game at halftime, and was really even uh, for the most part uh, the whole night. Last 10 minutes, you were able to make some big plays like this uh, from Kara Hesta to put the game away. Yeah, you know, and that's what we've been talking about. We get tired and stuff, and we haven't had the bench all year because of all our injuries and stuff. But you can only beat a dead horse so many times. I mean, come on, let's move on with about the injuries and the, you know, the excuses. They can play ball. I mean, it's not hard to play, make layups and uh, free throws and you can play defense and it's got to be intense. So now we're running plays, we're getting in the right people's hands, we're finishing shots. I mean, so if you're capable of shooting them, you shoot them. If you're not, then you find someone else who can. So. Sarah just showing a great game, 25 points is kind of the floor general. Kara Hess on the inside, 14 points, and she had a nice game as well. Right, and you know, it was funny because then the next night or the next game, Kara had a responsibility defensively to go face guard their top player against Lake Superior. So Kara was exhausted, so she only scored four points. There, but then Randall stepped up. Randall was zero for eight against Northwood. And then against Lake Superior, she just lit it up. So I mean, they all accept their roles. They do not care. Everybody plays defense and everybody throughout whatever night it is. I mean, uh, what was it? Mavis scored 19 points the second night, you know? So they, you know, Sarah's good with just passing it off. And, I, and they're finally figuring out their roles, but they're also figuring out it's the team effort that's really winning these games for us. And then before we go to Saturday's game against Lake Superior State, uh, you, you've kind of touched on it. Uh, seems like this is the right time of the year to be playing your best basketball. Right, yes. I'm very excited with us peaking now. I think we, we've, we've qualified for tournaments, which if you were to ask me at the beginning of the year after all these injuries, I'd be going, well, we just want to be 500, you know. But now, I mean, we're finally starting to not only accept our roles, but to do the right roles. Or, you know, the post players making layups and rebounding. And we have a five games streak that the post players didn't score at all. I mean, and one or two rebounds each. Come on. So now we, I think we, not only we've made the tournaments, but now I think we can compete. And I never thought that would come out of my mouth. And it has, so I'm pretty excited about that. As we go to Saturday's game against Lake Superior State back at home again, and uh, you've been able to, to play some better basketball here at home in the last few games, and certainly another another big test against the team that played you close uh, mm -hmm. on the road uh, earlier on in the year. Yep, and our focus was um, number four right there. She is an All-American. She's great. So Kara just face guarded her all night long, and then I'd have lacrosse come in and give her a rest. So, I mean, they just they stuck to their game plan. We told them what they needed to do, and they just did it. I mean, and, and Hannah had so many blocks. She's rebounding now. She's finishing when she needs to. Mavis is our bull. I've told you that before. She, if you if you take away her three, she's going to take it to the hole. And and then defensively, she's all over you. So she's a great addition to our guards. I mean, there she is. Oh, what a heads up play! How strong and just 
balance and just under control. I'm just real proud of them. Got off to a, a pretty good start here and then a big run to end the first half and you had a 17 point lead at halftime, really took control of the ball game. Yeah, and they kept it, you know, and then I made some subs and that's all right. You know, we let everybody play in and that'll pay off in the long run. Just some good hustle plays. They just, they're, they're coming within themselves. They just are real, they know their defensive responsibilities, what they're capable of, and then offensively what they're capable of. I mean, Felicia Jones, or Felicia, <laughs> Felicia Jones, Felicia um, Stanley is really um, scoring a lot. She was in foul trouble that game, but she's really complete in her play also. So it's, it's good to see our post players finishing and it opens up our guard play. Sarah Deshaun, a great pass here. April lacrosse with the lay-in and able to get the lay-in to go over her sister uh, yeah. who actually played for Lake Superior. Yeah, they, yeah, that's neat to see. Yeah, they're just putting in their layups. They used to panic. I always called them like a panic team. And so we've been putting a lot of pressure in practices and stuff. And I just, I have no tolerance for it. I mean, you're, you're playing college. Make a darn layup. Make a free throw so and play defense. So they're just they're we're figuring it out. This week, uh, the Bulldogs on the road. Another another busy weekend, another big week. Uh, you take on Wayne State on Thursday night, uh, down on Detroit on the road, and then back at home on Saturday against Saginaw Valley. And just talk about the two opponents this week. Oh, it's a big week. Uh, when isn't it, though? Uh, Wayne State has an inside presence. Wow, she's tough. But with Felicia and Hannah, I can rotate them and really we're not. We practiced it today right before this. And then. Um, they just, they're athletes. So if we could take advantage, every team has something that you could take advantage of. So if we take advantage of it, it's all, you know, I tell my team, it's all about um, demeanor when you're walking in there. If they intimidate you, then you don't stand a chance. I don't care how good you are. And then Saginaw is about the same. They have a great inside presence, but they're great shooters too. So, I mean, if we can get through this week and really stick to our game plan and take advantage of their downfall and then us, we call it swagger walking in. Um, then I think we can really compete with these two teams and then, uh, then we have Grand Valley next week. But it really depends. If we can pull off some wins these next three games, then it'll put us higher so then we don't have, you know, a low seat to play against the number one team. So hopefully we can pull off some wins. Saturday will also be Senior Day, a chance to honor the, the men's and women's basketball seniors and certainly uh, one senior on the floor this year in Kylie Munson. And just talk about the impact she's had on the team this season. Oh, yeah, she's always been our heart of our team. You know, we have months. But then we have Katie Fox with an ACL, so she, she's going to be honored. Felicia's going to be honored, too, and Carmody, Caitlin Carmody. So we actually have four, but no one really knows because we pulled them on the team in the middle of the season. So um, Munza is basically the heart of the team as far as the emotional part. So she really just, when she's talking to the team on offense and defense, the team just responds. It's weird. So she doesn't have time to feel anything about herself. She really has to focus on the team, and she's done a great job. I mean, all her ups and downs with her personal life, with her father and everything, She's just really put the team first, and that actually has paid off. It's really helped her focus on life itself, and so it, it's been a really fun year. She's made it great. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck. Uh, congratulations again on the two wins, and best of luck to the Bulldogs at Wayne State on Thursday and yes. at home thank on you. Saturday afternoon, regular season finale against Saginaw Valley. Yes, thank you. This has been another episode of Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Stay tuned for information regarding possible playoff games hosted by the Bulldogs as well.